You are welcome back to class. Uh, we want to look now at the conjunction in Hebrew. Conjunction in Hebrew is way, which is and. And and is also, it is it, like inseparable proposition. There is also inseparable and it's pointed like prepositions. So we want to look at the way and is used to conjunct, conjunct words together in Biblical Hebrew. You are welcome as we learn together. You are welcome to Biblical Hebrew class. I want us to look at another topic entirely, which is called conjunction. The conjunction we have in Hebrew is and, which in Hebrew is way. You have the way, which is way and sere. I'm, I'm way and simple sure. Way and simple sure. So you have, um, and you have way. So with a, the simple sure is, is what is the case. It has no uh, vowel. So we put, uh, it, the have vowel, which is um, uh, simple sure. Now let's start from here. Before ordinary letter, when you are using the word and, which is way, with another letter like man, it has no gotcha, it's just an ordinary letter. It's just an ordinary, it's a word starting with ordinary letter. You understand? It's a word starting with just ordinary letter. We have Adam. And Adam becomes we Adam. Adam is man, man, Adam. And a man becomes we Adam. A man is Adam. And a man is we Adam. Now, let's say the man. You have the man is a Adam. That's the man. A Adam. If you now want to say and the man, and the man becomes we a Adam. This is very straightforward and simple. Man, a man is Adam, and the man is we Adam. The man is a Adam, and the man is we a Adam. Now, before lib labials, some, some letters are called labials. Any, any word that begins with any of these three, these three are called labials. The bet, mem, and pay. Bet, mem, and pay. They are the labials. So any word that begins with this, any of these labials, this is the way you are going to undo it. From here you have between, which is ben. Between is ben. When I have ant between, and between becomes u. It's not going to be way this time because it's labial. The labials are the letters that are seated. So it becomes uben. Uben. It's not going to be weben. No. Uh -uh. Like uben between. And between becomes we. And, uh, and between becomes uben. Because ben started with the one of the labial letters, which is bet. You have bet, mem, and, and pay. That's just it. Then with a word beginning with je. That is Jod and Simple Shoa. Jod and Simple Shoa. Now, it will be wrong for you when you have a word like Yehuda. You have a word like Yehuda. Yehuda. And you have put We and Judah. In Hebrew, two simple Shoas cannot follow. So, what are we going to do? The Jod, this Jod. We lose its consonantal character. So all these three are, are dots. We fall away. So when you have Judah, Yehuda, and Judah becomes Weuda. Weuda, because the simple Shewa, you can't put the simple Shewa. The simple Shewa, you can't follow another simple Shewa. You can't put it this way. Like I just said, you can't put it this way. It will mean that two yachts have to follow. And that is not possible. So you remove the three and leaving just one, just like we have it here. We order. Then you also have the compo before when you come before a compotized shewa. 
when it comes before a composite. For example, a word like a dom, a dom is like this. But when you now want to say and a dom becomes we a a dom. And what is it done? Now you have a dom this way. A dom, the first letter as the first letter as a composite shower attests a goal. So if you now want to say and a dom, what you need to do is you put the way which is and you now carry the corresponding short vowel here and put it under. So it's become where a dom. Where a dom. Where a dom. Where a dom. I hope you are following. Where a dom. That is and a dom. And a dom. Now, another divergent is this the word Elohim. This is the word Elohim. This also has a composite shower at Tefse Gol. Naturally, what should have been done is that you carry this, just like we did with Edom, you carry this now and put it, the corresponding but with Elohim, it does not follow that rule and principle. This is an exception. So what we are going to do instead is what I have written here, and Elohim and God. So the Aleph loses its consonantal character. And it all the, all the vowels under it falls away and it now carries the long vowel sere. So what you have now is Wellohim, Wellohim and God, Wellohim and God, Wellohim. I want to look over at this once more. Let me just turn over once more for you. Adam and Adam becomes where we Adam, the man, and the, the man is a Adam, and the man becomes we a Adam. Now, before labias, before labias, which are Beth, Mem, and Gimel, and and pay, and pay, what you have like you have a word like this Ben, we start with a labia Beth, so you have Ben, and which is between that when you have and between. And between becomes U, U, then any letter starting with any of the labials, any of these labials, the conjunction stays, changes to U, it changes to U instead of instead of we, it just changed to who, U. Then with a word beginning with J, J. Now you know you cannot add two J, J. You're two simple shiwa together. Two simple shiwa cannot be together. So what you are going to do, if, for example, life Judah, Yehuda, Yehuda, Yehuda. So and Judah now becomes, you can't be way Yehuda because that will be two. Uh, uh, simple show has fallen. So what happens is that the yod loses consonantal character. All the vowels, the simple show under it falls away. The simple show under conjunction and, which is way, also for, becomes erect and it joins itself with the yod, making it to be li, becomes a, vow, a, a vowel, I, long vowel, I, erect yod. So what you have is li uda, li uda. Then also before a composite shower, you know, or in front of a composite shower, what it has to do is that it takes the corresponding short vowel, vowel, the first letter, and put it under the conjunction. It will replicate, it will duplicate it under the, uh, the conjunction. So when you have a dom starting with composite shower, composite uh, shower, a tef, segol, so what now have you? Where a dom, where a dom. But this principle does not go with the name Elohim. Elohim has a composite of attempts a go at the beginning, but you can't make it le Elohim. Rather, the Aleph will lose its consonantal character, all the vowels will fall away, and what we have under the conjunction is going to be a sere, which is a long. Vowel ear. So you have now have Lelohim. 
l'Elohim. L'Elohim. So, I want to go over the principles that govern conjunction and again and get understand. This is very straightforward and simple. I trust that you will look over this once again and continue to practice your Hebrew and master what you have been taught. Shalom. God bless you. I will thank God we've been able to look at the at the conjunction in Hebrew. And so we know how the word end is used in Hebrew language. I'm glad we are growing in our study of the Hebrew language. We are just laying foundation for all these small, small things so that it will make us solid as we study the language. God bless you.